Have you ever wondered about the differences between the Boston Terrier and the Dalmatian? Well, in today's video, we'll be comparing these two fun-loving, full-of-life dog breeds. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. My name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Boston Terriers and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Boston Terrier. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Boston Terrier, then this channel's for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful and unique breeds. We'll start by taking a look at the history of both of these breeds. The Boston Terrier originated from the United States and was first recognised by the American Kennel Club as a non-sporting breed in 1893. The first Boston Terrier was created in 1875 when Robert Cooper from Boston brought a dog called Judge. Judge was a cross between an English Bulldog and a white English Terrier. He was mated with a small, short-tailed, stocky white female named Bernard Chip, and with that, the Boston Terrier was born. The Dalmatian is a breed that dates much further back in history, so far, in fact, that their origin is relatively unknown. Some people believe they travelled with Romani people, who historically are nomadic. However, other people think the Dalmatian breed was named after a region in Croatia called Dalmatia. There is so much mystery surrounding this breed's history, especially as spotted dogs have been found painted on the walls in Egyptian tombs, depicted running alongside chariots, so it's assumed that they've been around for a very long time. Dalmatians have been bred and trained to run alongside carriages in order to protect horses from stray dogs and to keep the horses calm. As coach dogs, they would also act as guard dogs through providing security whenever the coaches stopped and would alert the driver to any incoming dangers. As well as serving as coach dogs, Dalmatians were used in many of the fields including hunting, fire service, circuses, herding and ratting due to their high intelligence and athletic abilities. All these jobs involve running for miles, which explains their remarkable amount of energy. Known as the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier is extremely recognisable thanks to its tuxedo-style coat, compact body and short tail. They're sturdy and muscular dog with a smooth, straight coat, distinct large ears which sit erect on their heads, and they also have a flat-nosed face with no wrinkles. The American Kennel Club recognised three colours, seal, a black colour with a red tinge to it, black and brindle with equal marks of white. The newly revised colours, which are not recognised as true Boston Terrier colours also include solid black, tan and black, mouse which is blue and liver which is red. A Boston Terrier usually has white markings across its chest, between its eyes and on its muzzle. Male Bostons usually weigh between 15 to 25 pounds and females around 10 to 20 pounds. They usually stand between 12 to 17 inches tall at the shoulder. No matter how much a Boston weighs, they should never look skinny. They should always look sturdy and muscular. Dalmatians are significantly larger than the Boston, typically measuring up to 24 inches tall. Hey guys, if you're having any kind of difficulty with your dogs and you wish their behaviour would be as good as my perfect canine companions here are today, I've got the perfect thing for you. I've got a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behaviour. I created it. It's all about the things that I've learned from my experience and skill set as working as a professional canine behaviourist. There's tons in there about how you can modify bad behaviours and turn them into dream behaviours to have amazing dogs just like these. So if you are interested, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over there. And weighing up to 55 pounds. Females are usually smaller and lighter. The Dalmatian puppies are born with completely white fur and their spots start to develop as they grow older. Usually the pup's signature spots begin to show around two to three weeks old and generally once they reach four weeks, most of their spots will be present. However, this isn't the end of the spot development as they continue to slowly develop as the dog grows throughout the rest of their life. Just like our fingerprints or like the diversity in snowflakes. Dalmatian spots are one of a kind to each pup. The most common colour for the spots is to be either black or liver coloured on a white coat, but there are different variations including pups with brindle, blue, orange or lemon spots. Although the Boston Terrier was once bred to be a savage pit fighting dog, this could not be any further from the truth now. Boston Terriers are known as an intelligent, affectionate and lively breed. They can however be a little bit stubborn. Consistency and persistence are a must when training them. It may be good to consider crate training 
training with Bostons whilst house training, as this may take a while for your Boston to grasp if not done properly. The best way to train a Boston Terrier is with motivational training as they're sensitive to your tone of voice. Punishing them too harshly may cause them to lose interest quickly in the training and in you. Dalmatians can make for an amazing family dog due to their playful and bouncy personality, but they really need company due to their sociable nature. They're not suited to homes where they'll be left alone for long periods of time and can suffer from separation anxiety. Dalmatians can also be incredibly stubborn dogs when they want to be due to their strong willed character. This independent mind is what can make a Dalmatian a tricky pup to train, especially if you haven't got experience with dogs previously. It can be quite a shock. Their particular high energy as a young dog is another reason why they can be difficult to train. You have to be extremely patient with them and spend a lot of time focusing on training. For an experienced owner, their high intelligence makes for an easy trainable dog as they really enjoy learning new things. However, if you're not an experienced dog trainer or you are a first time dog owner, then you'll most definitely have to get help from a professional trainer. They're strong athletic dogs, which means lead training is super important, especially at a young age. Otherwise, they can end up taking you for a walk rather than you taking them for a walk. This is a really significant reason when looking into getting a Dalmatian, as you need to be able to commit plenty of time and effort into training and exercising your pup. Being willful dogs, they need to be trained to know that you're the leader and not the other way around. Both the Boston Terry and the Dalmatian are fun-loving dogs that thrive in the company of their human companions. Although both can be stubborn when it comes to training, with plenty of early socialisation and consistent leadership, they can make wonderful additions to any family. Finding the best breed for you and your family and your lifestyle is really important, and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you and caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Boston Terrier videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.